It's hard to imagine that a school like Wellington once did not exist, as today's leader in innovative education with alumni living around the world, working as doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, artists, musicians, teachers, scientists, pilots, politicians, and much more. The Wellington School has helped shape the modern world by educating some of the top minds and talents of the last 35 years. It all began in 1979 when Ken Ackerman, a well-respected businessman, became frustrated with education in Central Ohio. At the time, there were no independent, co-educational school options for families. He decided there had to be a better way and reached out to his friend, Jeff Wilkins, about collaborating on a bold, unique opportunity. Mr. Wilkins was the co-founder of a technology company and had a passion for starting new things and building them from the ground up. Other like-minded local entrepreneurs were inspired to join Mr. Ackerman and Mr. Wilkins. Jack Rosilli contributed building and development insight. Bob Holland provided legal counsel. David Swadling gave financial advice. And George Minot shared his sales expertise. Harry Gard, Glenn Emke, a nationally recognized businessman and philanthropist, Dave Thomas, provided their support to purchase the new school. All of these great minds at the top of their professional fields work together, planning, raising money, finding a location, consulting with experts in education, and recruiting teachers and students for the tentatively named the Ohio Preparatory School, or TOPS. An important step in the process was finding a location. Mr. Thomas was instrumental in helping to buy Upper Arlington's Fishinger Road Elementary School, the future site of Wellington. In the words of Mr. Ackerman, Wellington was established to be a safe place for people to begin or continue the process of lifelong learning. The Wellington founders were determined to create a learning environment that encouraged diversity and inclusivity as students discovered their passions without fear of failure. They wanted to establish a school dedicated to cultivating each student's unique potential while developing their innate curiosity for the world. They also looked for students who had a multitude of talents and a variety of interests. When the Wellington School officially opened in 1982, there were 137 K through 6 students and 19 faculty and staff members. Many things were different back then. Wellington's original mascot was the Wildcat. Our uniform has changed a little too. Students today no longer have to wear ties and blazers, and saddle shoes have made way for sneakers. Each year after opening, Wellington added a grade until 1989 when the first graduating class marched at commencement. Wellington has had four heads of school, Walter M. Meyer, David Blanchard, Richard O'Hara, and Robert Brisk. We've had a lot of great performances and more artwork than the Louvre. We've had five state championship titles and made five trips to the state final four. As Wellington grew, so did our building. We have had many instrumental leaders who have led capital campaigns and helped Wellington to be the great school it is today. Wellington continues to honor our founders' commitment to providing students with a world-class education that also includes access to the arts and athletics. What began as an idea from one small group dedicated to innovative and inclusive education has now become a successful, thriving community of students, parents, faculty, and alumni, making a positive difference in the world. One dream has helped fulfill countless others. Happy birthday, Wellington. Happy birthday, Wellington.